Absolutely. Now, we showed you last week Caden Tennyson got hurt. So, uh, yeah, he's not going to be a quarterback today. Buckeyes take the field at Muskie Memorial Stadium. And it's Gainesville first. Came out swinging. Cade Searcy shows off his arm and hits Jesse Luna for a big gain here. And my man is still up. Hard to take him down. A few plays later is Seal Street. Turkey the ball in himself and bullying his way into the goal line. Gainesville 7, Gilmer 0. But the Buckeyes, of course, answer. But this is on fourth and eight. Quarterback Rowan Fuellen tosses to Cade Bowman for the big first down. And folks, Rowan is also the wide receiver and the cornerback. Later in the drive, Fuellen. He's going to go the other way to Tay Eric Tay. Oh, nice. Perfectly placed the ball in the corner of the end zone. Extra point was good. The game is tied at seven. Next, Gilmer possession. And who is it? Running back Ashton Haynes. Yeah. Uh, wherever he is, he gets it in from 17 yards out. Makes the score. Buckeyes 14, Leopards 7. Well, the Leopards come right back. And it's Searcy. Yeah, he's going to throw a deep ball to who? Luna again. Oh, nice snag. Who takes it in for a touchdown? Excuse me, ref. Thank you. The game is tied at 14. We're early in the second quarter. Fluellen, he decides to do a little running himself and streaks down the field. He's still going. This is 56 yards to the three-yard line. So I guess he's the running back, too. But the Buckeyes, hey, they use a swinging gate play on the extra point, and Aaron Bell pushes his way in for the two-point conversion, and the score is Gilmer 22, Gainesville 14. But the Buckeyes were not finished. As Ashton Haynes, yeah, you're going to see him shoot right through the middle. Oh, Geronimo right into the end zone for the touchdown. Buckeyes lead 29-14. And let's take a look at this score. Gilmer, ooh, ooh wow. a 40-point win with their receiver playing quarterback. 